Okay, so wonderful good afternoon everyone. So I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this tutorial is Hanbeo Clement and I'm here to teach you on uh, redox uh, equations, redox equations. So to those of you that are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, you follow me. Uh, and if you have a question concerning the topic, you can do the needful, you can inbox me on WhatsApp on this line and I'll be able to respond to you. All right, so um, redox reactions usually exist in acidic as well as in basic. So uh, in this wonderful tutorial, I'm going to go uh, through with you uh, in questions while we'll be dealing with redox uh, equations that are in acid form. All right. So before we do most of the questions, let me first of all just go um, um, through the rules that we follow under uh, redox equations in order for you to be productive. So the first rule simply states that you first of all have to divide the reactions into half reactions. You, so you first of all divide the reactions into half reactions. The second point simply states that you balance the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. Okay, you balance the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. Then you balance the oxygen atoms by adding water to the equation. You balance oxygen by simply adding water to the equation. Then you can balance the hydrogen atoms by simply adding H plus ions. Okay, then you balance the charges by simply introducing uh, an, an, an E, which is simply an ion, just to show an ionic balance on either side which you want to balance in the equation. Then you add the, the, the half reactions and simplify them. By simplifying, we just simply mean putting them together. All right, so without wasting much time, I'm going to use these rules uh, uh, on, on, the, on the questions that we'll be doing so that you may see how they will be able to make sense. We have application. They're saying balance each of the following redox reaction in acid solution. Okay, so we have this equation here. Now, so manganese 2 uh, uh, plus, this is by something, uh, 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 trioxide. When the two react, they produce uh, manganese 4 oxide plus um, this element. So now, what is the first thing to do? The first thing to do is simply to divide the reactions into half reactions. Okay. So that's the first thing to do. We balance the reactions, the equation into half reactions. What do we do? Now, you need to be careful. Since here we have manganese, and then in here we also have manganese, meaning we might create a relationship between this and this. You create that relationship. Therefore, this is going to be manganese, like this. Then, it is going to give out manganese folks like that. Okay? The other half re uh, uh, reaction is going to be this and this. We might create a relationship. So this is going to be this element giving out this element. Okay, when we reach here, number the second uh, rule is simply stating that we balance the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. So let's balance the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. That is the second step. Okay, so when we check in here, we don't have oxygen uh, or hydrogen. Okay, we don't have oxygen. Oh, sorry, we, we do have oxygen here, of course. 
Um, of course, we do have oxygen, but we balance any other element apart from this one. Now, let's check manganese. We have one. We have one manganese, so manganese is already balanced. Now, let's balance the oxygen. How do we balance oxygen? This, we balance oxygen by simply using water. This side, we have four oxygen atoms. This side, we don't have anything. So, I'm going to say four H2O plus manganese. Then this is going to give manganese four oxide like this. So, we have four oxygen, four oxygen. But then, we have eight hydrogen. Here, we don't have anything. So, we can add eight hydrogen like this. Okay? Eight hydrogen like this. Now, let's balance the ions. Okay? The charges, rather. The charges. Here, we have a positive charge, a plus two charge. Here, we have eight negative. Then here, we have one. So, if we say eight negative minus, um, uh, minus this one, then automatically we know that this is simply going to be a, uh, this is going to be negative, what's this? Negative, um, sorry, here, suppose a positive nine. So, here it's going to be negative, uh, it's going to be positive seven, because if we say this negative, this is negative one minus, uh, uh, as minus eight, then automatically we have a seven. So here we're going to have a negative, a positive seven rather, a positive seven. Meaning, for us to balance the charges between this side and this side, then automatically we're going to add a, means we're supposed to lose five electrons. We're going to lose five electrons this side. So we have balanced this one. Let's balance this one. Where do I balance it? Okay, let me balance it here. So we have this element. This element. So now, how do we balance this element? We balance the element, first of all, before we can balance any other thing. But then check what's happening. Um, this and this are already balanced. So we need to balance oxygen. How then do we balance oxygen? This side, we have three oxygen atoms. This side, we don't have anything. So we are going to say... Okay, let's balance oxygen. We're going to say... It's going to be B, I, this element. So we say plus 3H2O. Like this. So three oxygen, three oxygen. Now let's balance the hydrogen. We have six hydrogen. Meaning this side, we're also going to have six hydrogen ions. Now let's check. Here we have a plus three a positive charge. Here we have a two, because this is six minus one. This is five. Five, so it's a positive five a charge. So uh, in order for us to bring it to three, we must lose two. So it means we are going to add, we we'll say, plus is going to be a 2 like this. We need to lose 2 so that this and this becomes balanced. Okay? Now, everything is done. Now we can bring the two, the two, uh, we can bring the two equations together. Bring them together like this. So you say, you bring them together. You can bring them together, you say, 4 H to O plus manganese like this then this is going to be then 8 plus then 5k like this like this then from here we can also bring out this element here. So this is going to be a, um, it's going to be like this. This compound plus six 
okay then we say plus two then this is going to give out this is going to give out uh, this element plus three h2o from here we can ask ourselves what else do we need to balance we need to balance these two you concentrate on this and this okay how do you balance the two you can you just do this okay you you write this uh, bracket then you just to, you just soak them to simultaneously you get this two you put it here so i'll put my two here then you get this five you put it here so i'll get my five i'll put it here then i'll say two multiplied by four it's going to give me eight h two o okay plus two manganese then it's going to be a two also this is going to be a 16 this is going to be a 10 you can do the same this is going to multiply everything so this is going to be a um, so this is going to be a what's this this is five so five multiplied by five multiplied by this is going to be five Okay, then plus 30 hydrogen ion plus 10 this this is going to be 5 uh, this element plus 15 K like this so when you reach here have you seen that this is 10 and this is balanced so this and this will cancel. The two can cancel. Then what other thing can cancel? You check water. So in here, you have eight H2O. Here you have 15. So it means this can cancel. But when you cancel with this, here you remain with a seven, this side. OK? You remain with a seven that side. Then what else? Let's look at the hydrogen ions. So here we have 16, here we have 30. So let's say 16 minus, okay, so we say 16 minus, uh, minus 30, 14. So it means here we remain with 14, here we remain with nothing. Now we can join everything together as stated by the rules so this side we are going to remain with um we are going to remain with 14 hydrogen ions plus two positive charged manganese plus this compound okay then this side we are going to remain with this side we are going to remain with you need to be careful don't leave out anything so it's going to be two manganese like this plus what else okay the water plus five of this compound so now when you look at this balanced redox reaction you are able to assess this whether it is balanced or not by simply first of all dealing with the charges first of all you deal with the charges that is where a lot of people make mistakes 
then you can also uh, try to check whether the elements are balanced. But as a matter of fact, they are balanced because we've got 14 oxygen, we've got 14 oxygen here. Two manganese, two manganese, five. This compound, we've got five this element, five this element. Oxygen, we have 15. This side, this is 12. Uh, um, oxygen, oxygen, where is oxygen? This is, okay, so this is going to be eight, eight plus seven. This is supposed to be 15. Okay, balanced. Let's look at the charges. 14 H plus. So this is 16, 16 minus, 16 minus five, 16 minus five, 11. Then this side we have, this is 15. This is 15, 15, 15. Then this is going to be, what is this? So, sorry, this side we found is supposed to be 12, 12. Then this side, this is going to be five multiplied by these three is going to be 15. 15, wait a minute, this is 16. This is 16. Okay, so you try to assess this, try to assess it, but it's very much correct, very much balanced. It's very balanced, yes. Try to check out the charges, everything is, 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 is well, it's, okay, it's well balanced. So if you have a question on what I did, you just make sure that you inbox me on my WhatsApp line and I'll be able to respond to you. All right. Okay, so this is our work. Make sure that you go through, you assess, then um, if you see, if you have a query, you can inbox me on my WhatsApp line and I'll be able to respond to you. Thank you so much.